So in this video, we are going to learn how to secure the logical standby database. So as we know that logical standby database setup is something which will allow to write and read the information from the standby database. This is very different from what physical standby database is and what active data guard setup is. And logical standby database is one, I'm repeating it again that will allow you to modify data and also read data on the standby database server. So let me show you first of all uh, what is this uh, video is all about and what am I speaking first. So uh, to let you know first DGDB1 is the database which is acting like my primary database at the moment and then DGDB2 database is the one which is acting like my standby database at the moment. So to show you uh, what is the database role and open mode of both the databases. So I'm firing this query. So this is acting like my primary database, which is DGDB1, which is open for read write operations. Similarly, your standby database is logical standby setup, which is open for read write operations. So let me tell you what is that I'm speaking about. So for example, uh, if I have a data table called scott.emp, there is a one data which uh, I will be showing you now. Consider this is the data on the primary database server. And we know that the same data on the standby server should be the same. I mean the same row on the standby database server should also be the same. It is same at the moment. But please remember if you want to modify something, if you want, if you modify something on the primary, the same will be reflected on the standby. Let me show you first if it is being reflected or not, so that you will understand that my primary and logical standby databases are in sync. So on the primary, uh, I am I'm modifying this data like this. So I have updated this particular record to clerk from analyst. So if you now fire this query again on the standby, still you will see analyst because I did not commit. Now as soon as I give commit, the same thing should be reflected on the logical standby. Yes, it is being reflected. So my logical setup is in sync at the moment. That is what I'm trying to prove. But now if you modify something on the standby side, then definitely there is a problem. You know, as uh, your database is in open for read write mode on the standby also, it will not stop you to update the record on the standby. Now if you see the information on the standby, it is analyst here, but the information on the primary is still clerk here. So there is a data mismatch. So what am I trying to tell you is logical standby database is open for read write operations, but you should also make sure that the tables which are being maintained by the SQL apply process are secured. What I mean by secured? The changes or the data modifications to objects which are maintained by SQL apply process should only be done by primary database, but not by, from anyone on the standby database. That is what my intention. So I will be telling you how this is possible and how can we secure it. But let me get back this data to back to clerk so that let me make these two things as uh, primary uh, back to the data as in primary. So now let me explain you the concept how we can do it. There are three guard status types or there are three ways or three methods you can actually safeguard your data on the data guard environment on the logical standby. One is with the type called all that means no changes are accepted or possible on all the objects on logical standby. This is one mode of securing it. The second mode is standby. That means no changes are accepted to all the objects maintained by SQL apply. So if there is any object which is under the process of SQL apply, you cannot modify the data on those objects. So that level of security is called a standby. And when you say none, no security. So now let me tell you. 
to see what is the guard status of the current database environment you can get it from select guard underscore status from v dollar database this is on standby side please remember the current data guard status is all so all means no changes are accepted on all the objects on logical standby but how did it allow to modify something here might be the next question that you can get please remember i have modified the data using sys user that means all these guard types and the modes of security are applicable for non sys users only sys user can modify any data on the logical standby database but these modes of guarding or uh, securing the data modes is only applicable to end users that means other than sys user so that is what i'm going to tell, show you now demonstrate because it is set as all let me show you what happens let me connect a scott user on both the machines now try to modify this data back to analyst here this is where am i doing this change i'm doing this change on primary database and now let me also connect here as scott user on the logical standby database and now let me see the information in this record it will still be as clerk because i did not commit once i commit this i can see the change as analyst this is perfect this is as required but what is that we were looking for scott user on the logical standby database should not have permissions to modify any data on the standby server now as i have set the guard status as all it should not allow scott user to modify any data on the logical standby let us verify if it is there so now let me do an update statement on the standby now see it is not allowing it is saying that database guard is actually enabled on the logical standby so that is the reason you you are not eligible to actually modify this data on the logical standby database and please remember all will be the default setup in the logical standby database environment but if you wanted the end user to create the own objects which are not same as primary database then you can set the guard status as standby and if you set the guard status as none that means end user can modify the data that is being maintained by sql apply process as well and in case if you wanted to modify the guard status how is it we have to definitely connect as sys dba and we have to say alter database guard and you say none so now we have applied as none so if you check the process that is uh, guard status it is none so now if you see when the guard status is none i have again connected as scott user and now i try to modify some data in this scott user it was it is allowing me now but earlier it was not allowing me because the guard status at that point was all so that is what i have been explaining so far all means no changes are expected on all the objects on the database but when you set this as standby no changes are accepted to all the objects maintained by the sql apply process but if you set it to none that means you are allowing the end users to modify any data on the logical standby database which should not be done and it is not good so once you do the rollback it is rollback and you can see the status or the data should be analyzed on both the servers it is analyzed here and it is analyzed here and then you can come back to sys dba and set back the status to all or standby so if you are doing it to standby that means now the end user can create his own objects can you see that here so create table t1 as an example c1 var car 2 of 2 he can create he can insert into t1 values a as an example and he can commit because i have created a data guard sta uh, guard status as standby he is able to do modifications to a tables which are not existing on the primary database but if the data guard status guard status that this is not data guard 
or data uh, normal data guard it is database guard that means securing the logical standby database if this is set to all then definitely this user will not be able to do anything or any modifications on any objects on the database now what is that i have done after we were, we are able to create and insert the data now what i did is i have again converted the guard status to all to showcase that it will not allow you to create any objects in the logical standby database when the guard status is all so as you can see here after i made it all i connected to scott user now i am trying to create a table so what is it saying insufficient privileges so let me repeat whatever we have learned so far first of all we can safeguard your logical standby database because it is in open for read write operations so what are the three different uh, modes of safeguarding logical standby it is all standby and none none means you cannot safeguard any data on the logical standby you are allowing end users to modify data on the logical standby as well that is dangerous that is not uh, uh, advised mode when you say all no changes are accepted on any object in the complete database that is what i have shown you just now and when you say standby only modifications on the objects maintained by sql apply are uh, any changes that you are trying to uh, do to the objects maintained by the sql apply those changes are not accepted but other changes are accepted that is what i have proved so we have proved the per we have proven the permission levels for none standby as well as all in the data guard uh safeguarding methods that is on logical standby thanks for looking at this video so we will be uh, i'll be uh, coming up with such interesting videos going ahead so as we have seen the earlier videos uh, i will try to actually get in much more interesting videos as well keep following my page and if you need some training assistance uh, we can train you on oracle database you can get the contact information here or you can you can also get the contact information from the facebook page thank you once again